Okay, so what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about how to optimize your phone for best use on Metro PCS, Boost Mobile, and Cricut Wireless, especially when you get a new phone. So, as you guys know, a lot of phones come with a lot of bloatware and a lot of things and a lot of settings that you know you might not know if you don't use Android phones a lot. Let's say you just moved over from an iPhone. Let's say you just, you know, I don't know, you're just new to the smartphone game or you're just not that tech savvy and you want to know exactly how to kind of mess around with these phones or whatever and you but you don't want to mess up your phone you don't want to be like oh man i messed up my phone now i don't know what i'm doing so i'm going to show you guys in the second half of the video so in the in this first half basically i'm just going to you know talk about some things or whatever and then i'm going to actually go through and show you how to do these things on your phones guys so stay tuned for that but yeah guys in the comments below i want you guys to tell me what is the most annoying thing about you know a phone and your you know when you get it is it the bloatware is it the lagginess uh you know is it what what is it about phones that you just don't like what they do you know my particular thing is the bloatware they put on there like i don't mind you know certain things about phones you know they glitchy they do this they do that but you know and by the way guys i'm using the blade x max right now my blade z max is charging up uh you know what i'm saying to 100 percent. so i figured i'd break out the zt blade x max and show you this so yeah uh you know you got your bloatware all over the place or whatever and i'm going to show you guys how to uninstall that um then you can actually go in and you can actually go into the info section or about section and you can actually disable things like the developer options and whatnot so yeah 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 there's a but there's a bunch of things you can do you know what i'm saying you can disable apps if they weren't if they won't let you un uninstall them which is one of my pet peeves is when they won't let you uninstall apps and they you know put apps up there or whatever and they put these horrible games that you know nobody's gonna play like final fantasy 15 stuff like that you know oof, got me got me got me all right so yeah uh i don't know there's just a bunch of things that you know come along with these phones or whatever and some of the apps are useful you know what i'm saying i gotta hand them that you know sometimes your my metro thing or your boost uh mobile zone or whatever you want to keep that but a lot of these defender apps and these freaking virus apps are just ridiculous sometimes so i don't get down with those at all uh i'd like to choose my own type of antivirus if i even use which i don't use them so and it feels like these these um these companies it's like they're just selling out to these different you know games or whatever it's like okay man like you really don't care about what the customer what how it affects the customer's phone especially these games that have like all types of ads that pop up or, and whatnot you know what i'm saying if it was just a game that just was a game but they have like news networks that you know have your lock screen that has ads on them and all that stuff that's just like a big no-no man in my book like if you want to put a game up there fine whatever you know what i'm saying people can uninstall the game but these are uh, like these news networks and these flashlight apps and all that alarm clocks meant to look like you know they're basically meant to look like the default alarm clock which they're really not they're like add-ons so they just really need to do that and get rid of that that's like to me that's like bad that's like really really bad you know everything else i can kind of deal with but when it comes to those you know alarm me and flashlight app and all that and you know you get lock screen ads or whatever that's just like terrible man that's like diminishing the user's experience you know so what if this what if this particular phone is the first phone they get on your network and they see you know ads popping up on the screen like what the heck like come on man you know you're already making your you know 30 40 50 60 dollars a month per user on your you know thing you know what i'm saying you have to add that on top too to sweeten the pot and you don't even care if it affects the users you don't even care if it locks up their phones you know but Anyways, guys, let me show you guys how to actually get rid of some of this stuff. And I know some of the vet veterans in the house are going to, you know, know how to do this stuff. And I'm actually going to, show, you know, mention some uh, root, root apps and stuff like that. So, you know, if you guys want to, you can actually go and look and see if you want to root your phones and all that stuff, which is, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't get down with the rooting either just because I think phones have come a long way and I think they're 
pretty good as is as they come out of the box you know of course you can tweak your phones better but that's like a very high level uh, user Android type thing but yeah so let's go ahead and get right into that all right so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go right to the home screen okay so as you can see I'm on my home screen I'm on um, horizontal or yeah no vertical Oof, horizontal mode landscape mode so there you go so uh, what you can do is you know you can just go through your apps or whatever and anything you see that particularly does not belong there or you don't like like browser I usually get rid of that because I usually have Chrome so what we'll do is we'll go to the browser one we'll actually go up here and it's gonna look different on your phone because I have mine in uh, horizontal mo mode versus vertical mode and you're gonna just hit disable you're gonna disable that app right there and that's gonna give you a little bit more of a you know edge on stuff so and it's gonna make your phone faster uh, what, what else do you want to do you want to do this is Final Fantasy 15. Ah, oh, man, I can't stand this, man. I don't know why you're always putting on that crap on your phone. So, and there's a lot more apps, guys, that come on your phone that you, that I particularly don't like or whatever. This visual voicemail, I never use voicemail. Like, who even uses voicemail nowadays? Like, get the hell out of my phone. Anyways, so, I mean, I'm sure it's not really that big of an app anyway and whatever, so not really that big of a deal, but that's what I basically do. Um, what I do do, what I do use is I do use um, Google Home. So Google Home is like the first thing that I install. Uh, I like it because you can just swipe to the left and you can get your news right here. And it's pretty, you know, it makes the, it makes my phone experience the same on each phone I use, which I kind of like that. So if you want to try that Google Home launcher, that's what I use for everything. So uh, let's see here. What else? Do I, what else do we got here? Let's see. You can go to your settings and what you want to do what I like to do is I like to actually turn off all my stuff that I'm not using so if I'm not using my you know mobile hotspot if I'm not using my location you know all that stuff you want to have all that stuff turned off obviously so location turn that off you know you want to have all these different little things turned off or whatever that you're not using uh, if you're not using your sync then turn that off auto rotate uh, make sure you do not have do not disturb on some people turn on do not disturb and they can't get calls so uh, battery saver I would turn that on only if you're having really bad issues with the battery saver part because battery saver can actually turn stuff off that you don't want to turn stuff off um, so display adaptive brightness that's okay you know what I'm saying but when you're making videos or whatnot I like to make them really bright so that's why I have that off right now battery percentage is a big thing people love to have that on there so uh, screensaver I usually don't have a screensaver up there you know what I'm saying well you know because when your phone's charging you want it to charge ambient display I turn this off all the time so that actually with ambient display it wakes up your screen when you get no receive notifications that really drains your batteries guys uh, font size you know what I'm saying just have it a little bit bigger than normal because I can't do that small text or whatever display size default and then yeah so let me show you guys the let me show you guys the developer options real quick. So what you're gonna do for developer options, you go to about phone, you go to build number, you click this a couple times and it says you're gonna you know be a developer and then boom opens up the developer options and then you go to just turn on developer options and then you go all the way down to usually down here and guys go ahead and you know mention in the comments below if you do anything else other than what I'm doing because I want to make this video basically like a, a hub of knowledge you know what I'm saying so there you go window animation scale translation animation scale and animator duration scale so you're gonna turn these down they usually come at 0.5 or 1 so that's what I do normally and yeah guys uh, and then after I do all that you know you add your Google accounts or whatever uh, security you know you, you know you put your fingerprint on there if you want or whatever and really that's about it you know you get rid of the, all those apps that you really don't want and after that you know your phone should be good to go and then what you do what I usually do is I go to Android assistant and then you know I use Android assistant on damn near all of my videos or all of my phones I should say and I like it because it gives you a lot of uh, a lot of 
details about your phone, a lot of things going on here, CPU info, RAM info. So you can check this out real quick and see if you're, you know, using up your stuff or not and blah, blah, blah. So just a lot of, a lot of good info to be had here. You know what I'm saying? So I've been using them since 2011. So not a bad app. And yes, it does have a little uh, app there at the bottom or a little ad there at the bottom, but it's not intrusive. So whatever. And yeah, guys, so hopefully you find this video helpful and, you know, say, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you guys do and maybe we can all learn from each other. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoy my content and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.